Oh, hi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress episode 97, 98, and 99. Let's get started. Johansson is a journalist who writes for the common folk. So when the interview begins, tell him that your marriage is a win for commoners. You may have found out lately that you're a of noble birth, but... I still think and act no differently from all of you. I want you to know that I will stand with the commoners even when I become an empress. Hmm. A journalist who writes for the nobles will arrive soon. Tell him a story about your sweet romance and the intense love between you and Emperor Sovashu. Should I also talk about how I will take their side? That will go against what you said earlier. Nobles like other people's love story as much as they like keeping up appearances. So just keep the focus on your romance. Lady Rasta, a journalist from the Daily Post is here. <clears throat> Ugh, I'm so tired. Ugh. She's so very pregnant. Oh. I will become the second most powerful person in the empire when I become the empress. Do I really have to be this careful around people? Uh? Huh? <laughs> I'll stay strong, sweetie. The Remarried Empress, episode 97. Huh? Come in. Oh, I came to see how things were going. <laughs> His smile. He seems to be looking cheerful because I'm being fitted for my wedding dress. Which design did you go for? Uh, we're still choosing between the design I recommended and the ones Her Majesty has picked out. <laughs> Your Majesty, please take one step back. Oh. Oh. <gasps> well, I get it. Of course, you may want to keep your dress a secret. Step, step. I wasn't trying to embarrass him. What do I do? She clearly mad at me over something. Dum. I just wanted to pick out a dress together. You probably did something to deserve it. Do you think she figured out that I'm queen? She did ask who queen was once she find out that McKenna is a blue bird, but it seems like she simply thought of queen as one of the people working for me. She might have realized that truth by now, but and gotten angry. Why don't you just tell her the truth now if you're that concerned? Oh, come on. Do you think act immediately every time you get worried about something? Well, I ask for advice. And what do I say? You tell me to go and deal with it if I'm worried about it. Uh. <sighs> Alright. I'll try following my own advice. I might not have ended intended to, but I it still doesn't change the fact that Henry must have been shocked and embarrassed after I pushed him suddenly. What's more, the fashion designer also was also in the room. I ought to go and find Henry. And apologize to him. Your Majesty, His Majesty is here to see you. Uh, it looks like he was so embarrassed that he hasn't managed to get changed yet. Um, it's so awkward. There's something I must confess. I'm queen. I thought he was going to talk about how he was hurt by my recent behavior or something along those lines. Judging by the look on your face, it seems you were already aware. Ah, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to deceive you. My queen, our clan can't review our true identities to anyone besides family members. That's why I couldn't tell you. I wasn't planning to deceive you forever. I, I promise. Henry. Oh. Oh. It seems he intend to soothe my anger by acting cute. <laughs> Crawl. 
It's not that I'm angry, Henry. I... He's cute, like this now. But when he transformed back to a human... Again, this photo always shows up. I really am not angry, so please go somewhere I can't see you. And come back as a human. Fla, fla. Your Majesty! Oh, you're alone, what happened to His Majesty? He left through the window. Pardon? I have no idea what that means, but... Let's go tidy up the room, Miss Mastis. Ah. His Majesty's clothes are here. They're gonna think they did something. <laughs> His Majesty's clothes are here! Oh, did he- Does His Majesty really leave through the window? Oh, Henry left his clothes behind! Does that mean His Majesty left Stark naked? She must be thinking that something indecent happened since she's blushing that much. <laughs> I would be blushing too, even if I explained that he simply took his clothes off and I merely sent him on his way. That would only raise more questions and answers. Um, your majesty? Well, we are married after all, but the people who are going to come across his majesty while he is in the nude aren't married to him. Fragrant, his scent. Reminds me of Queen. That means it was Henry who delivered that gift that time. That must be why his eyes are red when I went to visit him in his room back then. It seems like he gets hurt easily. I wonder if he's crying by himself in his room again. <sighs> Miss Masters, has there ever been a misunderstanding between you and His Majesty? What kind of misunderstanding do you mean, Your Majesty? Um, for example, did he ever think you were angry when you weren't? Masses is a knight who serves under Henry, so she should know what he's usually like. Hmm. No, but there was one time when I was angry and he didn't seem to care at all. He, did he leave through the window because he was shocked after mistakenly thinking you were angry with him? It was due to something like that. Uh, um... Well, I can imagine what might have happened for His Majesty to be shocked while he was nude. No, what I meant to say is that I have no idea what could have happened, so please don't worry about it. What I wanted to say was, um, His Majesty smiles a lot, but, uh, they're not real smiles. He hides everything behind his smile so that nobody knows what he's really thinking. That's why I've never seen His Majesty, Majesty look shocked. I thought he was an emotional person, but it sounds like he may not be as emotional as I thought. Does he only show his emotions in front of me? If things have got to the point where his majesty ran off in the nude because he was so shocked despite his tendency to hide his emotion, wouldn't it be better to be honest and tell him that you aren't angry? Be honest. Step, step. Your majesty! I have to go and see His Majesty. I'll clear up the misunderstanding by telling him the truth. That's not what I was referring to. Your Majesty, you should wrap up those clothes because you can see everything. These are the King's undergarments. Oh, <laughs> the Remarried Empress, episode 98. Oh, they're playing music for the baby. I can't believe His Majesty is saying to my unborn child. I could never have imagined such a thing until recently. I wish I could run my hand through his lovely black hair just once. Alan ignored his own child to protect his position as a Viscount to be. While this man is the emperor of a nation, and yet he's doing this his best to ensure our child is legitimate. He comes over when he has spare time during the day and night to talk to the baby or sing to it. How could I not love him? Your Majesty has a lovely singing voice. I've had a lesson. Is singing part of the studies to become a king? Always from Rashda's voice. No, it was part of the education that prepared me for high society. I'm sure the baby will remember daddy's voice. <laughs> pat, pat. 
Huh? Who is it? Marquis Carl wished to have an audience with you, your majesty. At this hour. He claims there is something he needs to show you urgently. To tell him to go dr to the drawing room outside my chambers. You're leaving already? It must be something important if Marquis Carl is here. <laughs> Please take a look at this, your majesty. It's a newspaper from the Western Kingdom. Huh? Navier! Heard me promising Russia that I'll divorce Navier. I waited until the morning as it was so late yesterday, but I should clear up the misunderstanding before the morning meeting begins. Cosaire! Navier! Navier! <laughs> Cosaire! <laughs> I was heartbroken when I heard the news about your divorce. Because I know that getting married to a King Henry won't erase the pain of getting divorced. How's there? I thought that I'll be able to see you as soon as I arrived. I thought I might end up getting you into trouble. Don't be silly. But I did end up causing tr trouble for you in the Eastern Empire. I thought that maybe your divorce was my fault. If I hadn't done anything, then nothing might have happened. So Beishu would have kicked me out even if my brother hadn't done anything. That's because he needed me to be out of the picture so that he could have Rashta beside him on the throne. <laughs> it sounds like you've been managing to meet up with Henry despite avoiding me, right? Uh, um, that's right. King Henry said he let me participate in the knight's tour. He said he would let Cosair participate in the knight's tour. To be continued. The knight's tour. Is a tradition of the Western Kingdom in which the king's knights visit several cities and help their citizen. The one who makes a name for himself as the most resourceful knight during the tour will become known throughout the kingdom and become highly re-owned. Renowned? Some critics argue that it creates heroes in a way that's too contrived, but it'll be a good opportunity to improve my brother's reputation. Henry, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for him. I'd only heard rumors that he's shallow, but he's very considerate in many ways. When I finally met him, I see. It seems he likes you a lot. <laughs> Liking someone doesn't always have to mean that you have romantic feelings for them. So, indeed, the remarried empress, episode ninety-nine. My queen. <laughs> it has always been Henry who made the first move until now. Click. So this time... <sighs> My queen, I... I'm really not angry. But... May I tell you the real reason why I avoided you? Please, be honest if you're not angry with me. I couldn't sleep because I was so worried. My queen, I... I don't want you to hate me. I have to pluck up the, some courage, too. Henry, I... Saw you when you were in the nude. Huh? That image of you keeps appearing in my mind's eye, so it's making me feel uncomfortable. That's why I couldn't make eye contact with you. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Oh... He's flushing! I see. You kept avoiding my eyes <laughs> because you saw me like that. Did that come as a bit of a shock? Well, you were very honest. Please excuse me for a moment. <gasps> He's like fanning himself. <sighs> it doesn't seem like he's acting. So where did you see me in that state? I saw you in the fountain that's in the abandoned palace. <laughs> oh, uh, that fountain, then I was... You were soaked. Oh, oh my, my god. <laughs> it's still embarrassing, but I feel better now that I've told him the truth. I don't think that's the case for Henry, though. Would it be a bit better if I held his hand? Uh, uh, huh? Mm. 
Have you e have you eaten yet? No. Would you like to dine together? Mm. <laughs> Mm, that looks so good. Ah. <laughs> By the way, my queen, do you really keep picturing me in your head? <laughs> that must be a true judging by your reaction. <clears throat> That's not this the case anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's no way that things could change in such a short amount of time. Don't get the wrong idea. <laughs> you can see that side of me all the time after the wedding. There's... He's flirting. <coughs> oh. <laughs> that's... That's a handkerchief that I lent to Henry. And let Queen have as he had it tied around his neck. <laughs> Isn't that mine? You never asked me to give it back to you. I gave it to the bird. Well, I am that bird. So, you gave it to me. Henry. It's naked when his transforms into a queen. Does that mean... He had that handkerchief tied around his neck while he was naked? My queen. I wasn't thinking of anything. <laughs> you can tell me if there's anything you want to see. <clears throat> Henry! <laughs> I can make anything you imagine come true. That is so smooth. I'm freaking blushing. <gasps> Your Majesty, shh. Don't make a fuss and Car Marquis Carl. If Naria really did hear me promise Rasha I'd divorce her, she probably couldn't just sit back and do nothing. If her marriage to Henry is, res is her response to overhearing that, I have to clear up the misunderstanding. Get this to Navier. You have to give it to her in secret since Henry might try and intercept the message. Make sure you give it to her directly. Oh. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. That is a wrap. Okay, well, I don't know how Sobeshu can honestly intercept. Like, honestly, send a letter to clear up the misunderstanding. Like, at this rate, I'm sure Navier realizes, you know, she's a little, she's happier with Henry, I would hope. Oh man, this is going to be interesting. All right, guys, stay tuned next week for the next episode. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!